<clears throat> it's been a while since I showed my face here, but it's Inktober, and I'm doing it for a reason. Uh, I'm gonna talk about why I'm doing it, uh, what I want to gain from it, uh, why I chose the prompts, prompts I chose chosen, uh, and I want to talk about some other stuff. So please watch the video, comment something, like this video. All right. Boy G, howdy, has it been a long time? Months since I showed my face, I believe. Um, don't mind the beard or the hair, I'm growing it out for a challenge. I'll let you guys know the challenge after I'm done with the challenge, if I do it, if I finish it. Uh, anyways, I wanna talk about Inktober a little bit, a little dab a little bit. We're halfway through today's, I'm recording this on day 15. I haven't done my day 15 yet. Um, I finished day 14, like at 11 o'clock last night because man, it's hard balancing. Like if you do art and stuff like that, you guys don't have kids, it's like kids this that school art bam boom um commissions um everything but uh i'm still trying to do inktober and the reason why i'm doing inktober um i mentioned this in one of my posts i made my own prompts because um i want to learn how to draw more like animal type characters and also work on my character design so what i'm planning on doing is all the characters i'm making i'm gonna choose probably like five i already have one for sure i know everybody loves and i want to like add to that character make a story out of him or something like that but what i want to do is grab a couple characters and do like turnarounds of them at the end and then do some like expression sheets so there's some character design stuff you guys know what i'm talking about and i'm doing all of this everything i'm doing everything i do with drawing has it all goes towards building a better portfolio so i can have the dream is to get a job in animation but i don't know if that's gonna happen ever like uh i don't know if you follow me on instagram but i almost gave up man about a week ago Man, I was like, I uh, I don't I don't really make too much money from my art, like commissions. I haven't really done commissions in like, besides doing my $5 commissions, which is like nothing. I haven't really done commissions in like a year, maybe. Uh, and it all ties back into like a, um, a family issue that happened last year. If you guys know, you know. Uh, but once that happened, everything just like art related, uh, commission related, streaming related, everything just like crashed down. I haven't done like anything. Uh, but the whole reason for um, Inktober this year is just to get better so I could build my portfolio. Hopefully get some type of like art job. I really would like an art job. I don't know. A lot of people say, oh, you don't want to work in like corporate. Uh, but people don't know, man. Maybe I do. Maybe I want to work in corporate. I've been watching a lot of videos where people are just like, they go to art school, they get a job in animation, they don't like it. It's like, they end up quitting. But it's like, man, I'm not explaining. I, like, obviously you want money, but I mean, I feel like I would, I just want to be part of like a team. I don't know. Like, other people who are like passionate with like drawing. I don't want to just do it for money. Even though the money is good, hopefully. I, I have no idea. I probably sound stupid. I'm rambling, I'm rambling. Um, Anyways, Inktober, that's that's what we're doing. I'm not putting on. Uh, but yeah, I feel like quitting, man. I, I I made that video about my Etsy getting shut down, and then I was making like a decent amount from Etsy, and then I got shut down, and I got like super sad. I was like, bro, nothing's working, man. Everything just keeps like failing. Everything I do, I don't get no, I don't get engagement on uh, Instagram. I don't get engagement on Twitter. Don't get engagement on TikTok anymore. Mm, uh, every time I like post art i'm like to me my art it doesn't look good like i'll post it and i'll be i can see what i can see that's bad that's bad that's bad i should fix that but i'm like i have like, a hard time trying to learn how to fix it i wish i got like critique on social media but like i just post it it goes into a void of a million other art posts that other people post and it doesn't get no engagement no love no even if i got some like negative feedback i would be happy with that because uh, i honestly i'm just like Kind of just throwing things out there and hoping they stick. Same thing with like my portfolio. I'm just making my portfolio based on what I think and also based on watching YouTube videos and how to make a portfolio. And I get so many different perspectives and some people say do five point turnarounds. Some people say do three. Some people say you don't need turnarounds. Some people say sketches are fine. Some people say do fan art. Some people say don't do fan art. I don't know what to do because I'm like, I don't have fan art on my thing right now, but I have turnarounds. Um, and it's like uh, expressions, poses, and stuff like that. But it's like, then some people say like, oh, your art style, it's like uh, too cartoony. You need to have like variation. And it's like, like what do I, how much variation do I need to have if I want my portfolio to be catered to uh, cartoons? I want to make cartoons, man. I sound sad. I sound sad today. I don't know why I sound so sad. Probably because I'm complaining and rambling, but 
yeah just critique would be good some engagement would be good my my tiktok i post now doesn't get that much uh views anymore or um but i sound like i'm complaining a lot i'm complaining okay i'm complaining but i'm just saying i wish i got some critique i reach out like you, people say get mentors like how do you get mentors i need some critique man i don't know what i'm doing there's people will call me i was like oh your art's good my mom will be like oh your art's good my dad would be like oh your art tell is sick and i'm like bruh you don't know what you're talking about man uh I posted on Twitter that I complain a lot recently. I've been complaining a lot because, like, nothing is working. And I've been... I, if you didn't know, I had, like, over 600 YouTube videos where I would post every every other day. I would post a speed art with commentary. And I would just talk about the drawing. And then I would ask questions if you guys had questions. When you get no engagement, when you get no comments, I followed, like, all the tags, the description. I would put, like, so much into it. And uh, never my channel never grew. I was stuck at, like, a 1,000 subs for a long time. And the reason why I have so many subs that I have now is because I posted a reel or a YouTube short and it got, in like a day, got like a million views or something like that. I, like, hella people subscribed, but nobody stayed, nobody commented, nothing after that. But, um, yeah, I've just been complaining because everything I do is not working, man. Like, I post on social media, no love. I post on uh, YouTube, no love or whatever. But, uh, yeah, like I said, no, I have no critiques. I and I feel like I'm not growing. I'm staying teeny tiny this little bubble um i've taken art classes and stuff like that but i feel like i didn't grow from any of that but it, it just sucks because then i see like everybody else around me growing and everybody's getting bigger and better or people that i follow for a long time they're getting jobs and in animation and i'm over here complaining about i had like 600 youtube videos and didn't grow from that i had like a thousand instagram posts that i recently just archived like all of them didn't grow from that and it's just like super unmotivating man and it's like eh, when's it gonna when's it gonna work i haven't been drawing as much this past what am I why do i sound so sad shut up <laughs> anyways i want feedback that's the whole reason this video is about inktober i'm trying to get feedback i'm trying to get better at uh character design i'm trying to get better at drawing like animals and um, I'm picking a couple of characters at the end because I want to make a little short story. And I have my comic book, my Halloween comic book. I never finish it. I need to finish that. But anyways, the whole point of Inktober, this video, Inktober. Um, are you drawing on Inktober? Are you sticking with it? If you guys are, haven't started yet, it's only day 15. Um, here's, a, here's a prompt for you. you can, I'll put it on the screen or something like that. Uh, join in. Tag me on Instagram. Follow me everywhere. Let's talk about it. Are you like a, are you somebody who's struggling with art too? I'm, I'm in my 30s already and I haven't done anything. I've been drawing since I was little. Got back into it. Took like 15 years off. Got back into it uh, in 2018. Went full speed. 2019 pandemic. Grinded on art. Took, took like four art classes. Books. Bam. Boom. Grew like. Just grinded, went to Lightbox, made portfolios, got out of my comfort zone. I'm social anxiety, but I hate talking to people, but I went to Lightbox with portfolios, trying to make conversations, trying to pass it out. Some of them were super awkward, like they didn't want to talk to me, and then I feel like I don't look like anybody in animation. Um, everybody, you know what people look like in animation, I don't look like them. So I feel like that's why I stand out, and uh, I feel like I'm not approachable. So it's like weird when I was there. I feel like I'm the only one who looks the way I look. And uh, everybody else was like friends and all friendly. And I'm just like, I look like Nacho Libre with a beard. <laughs> Anyways, Inktober, join in, follow me everywhere. Patreon, uh, this video is super long, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna try to make more videos. This is hard, it's hard though, time. Time sucks. I, f I sound like I'm super sad. I'm not super sad, okay? I, I just keep, I keep thinking about it. Like, I'm not super sad. 